I know nothing about the stock market, but I see the old media going like this, and I see the new media going like this. So as I see George Stephanopoulos passing me by, I'm like, see you later, buddy. I know it's down there. <laughs> That's the pop culture thing, ultimately, because those people are the people as I, I leave here high as a kite thinking we're going to save this country, and then I walk through airports, right. like, yeah. no one recognizes me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as popular and as famous as I think I am. And millions and millions and millions and millions of people watched uh, American Idol last night, a lot more than watch Channel 360 on, on Fox News. We have a false sense of Priorities. the accomplishments that we made, but it is the middle that we have to win over, and that ties to your question. It's the narrative. It comes in the form of movies. It comes in the form of television. Daily Show. What? The Daily Show. Right, it comes in the form of The Daily Show, and I have to grudgingly accept the premise that they do it better than we do it. We cannot accept mediocrity. Um, my biggest fear, this is like a little secret thing, my biggest fear is if the conservative movement that I run around with in, in, in Washington were to be given $20 billion to come in to reclaim Hollywood, the first movie would be 3D CGI Hummel figurines. <laughs> What about Little House on the Prairie? Who has exactly. the rights for Little House on the Prairie? We need our children to see the kids on the prairie. That's those heartland. We need to give them buttermilk every single night. The problem, and it's a 20 to 30 to 40 year battle, and that's the problem. And it's going to take the investors it's going to take the Steve Stevens, I wish you were here, I'd like to say, we need to buy one of these studios. And I can hook them up with a lot of actors and actresses that you wouldn't believe. And I'm a huge fan of my book, and you've got to buy it if you don't have it. <laughs> but 